a bill written in secret by Senator McCain and Senator Carl Levin that would give the U.S. military and not civilian law enforcement agencies the ability to arrest anyone and hold that person indefinitely, even if that person is an American rested, arrested on American soil. The Department of Homeland Security sent to law enforcement agencies across the country warning about the potential for an increase in right-wing extremist activity. It warns about groups and individuals dedicated to single issues like abortion, immigration, and gun rights, and even raises a red flag about veterans returning home from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Also this week, a new report by the Department of Homeland Security says that Republican extremism could prove to be a greater threat to the U.S. than terrorism. The 10-page document does state that there is no specific information that domestic right-wing terrorists are currently planning acts of violence, but warns law enforcement agencies that the economic recession, coupled with the recent election of the first African-American president of the United States, is driving radical groups' recruitment. Et cetera, all come to the same conclusion, which is that right-wing extremists commit more acts of terrorism inside the United States and more acts of violence than Muslims do. Who was the first terrorist organization in the United States? <clears throat> Who? Founding Fathers. Founding Fathers. You mean Thomas Jefferson? Oh, yeah. You mean uh, George Washington? Oh, yeah. Paul yeah. Revere? Yeah. We also see who is being feared. Who is being feared? The racist, angry Tea Parties. Do you remember? Missouri, a report was issued for the state police to be on lookout for supporters displaying bumper stickers and other paraphernalia associated with the Constitutional Campaign for Liberty and Libertarian Parties. The report categorized them as militia-influenced terrorists. That's you, gang. The report also states that right-wing extremism in the United States can be broadly divided into those groups, movements, and adherents that are primarily hate-oriented, based on hatred of particular religious, racial, or ethnic groups, and those that are mainly anti-government, rejecting federal authority in favor of state or local authority, or ejecting government authority entirely. It may include groups and individuals that are dedicated to a single issue, such as opposition to abortion or immigration. Some of those sound exactly like the tenets of the Republican Party. No good and well that someday there could be a government in power that is shipping its citizens off for disagreements. There are laws on the books now that characterize who might be a terrorist. Someone missing fingers on their hands is a suspect, according to the Department of Justice. Someone who has guns, someone who has ammunition that is weatherproofed, someone who has more than seven days of food in their house can be considered a potential terrorist. If you are suspected by these activities, do you want to have the government have the ability to send you to Guantanamo Bay for indefinite detention? A suspect. We're not talking about someone who has been tried and found guilty. We're talking about someone suspected of activities. The president himself has to reconnect with the people. Remember, President Clinton reconnected through Oklahoma, yeah. right? And the president right because now the he bomb seems identity. removed. And it wasn't until that speech that he reclicked with the American public. And uh, you've heard uh, the, the, the vice president and others, and the police are being taught this, that it's the Tea Party, they're getting ready to blow stuff up, they're Al-Qaeda. This whole Al-Qaeda police state grid set up to protect us from Al-Qaeda, supposedly. It's going to have to be used against you. And uh, if you go to the Drudge Report, drudgereport.com, and go over to the right-hand side, uh, you can find our article from yesterday, uh, Big Sis, uh, Homeland Security. If anybody thought that all the other videos they put out were all the terrorists are white, all the good guys are are, are dark-skinned, uh, reporting on the evil uh, white people that the media has branded as... as uh, as the Tea Party, you know, the Tea Party is open to everybody. It's a movement for liberty and freedom and getting government under control. But the, but the, but the establishment dinosaur media uh, has uh, come out and said uh, that uh, the Tea Party is white and white only and racist. And yes, they're getting ready to start bombing. And so we're going to have to use the police and the army on them. And you've got all the White House memos and White House advisors we read yesterday saying minus a new Oklahoma City or 9-11, they're not going to be able to get their agenda through of gun control, open borders, massive tax increases, globalization, the end of our sovereignty, the green police, all of it. So it is on big time.